hope you can hear. I know you don't have a microphone on your end, but I hope you can hear me. Let me try it this way. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, groovy.
Wow. Oh. oh, groovy.
more room than my whole living room. Damn. Oh, cool. Very cool. <laughs> Full size, life size.
Jesus, I'm going to the gallery from my desk. I'm going to the gallery from my desk. I'm in a hangout, and I've just got to walk through a studio. Never mind. Sorry guys, I have the mic muted because my kids like to speak out here frequently and they ask random questions. Hi, Mom, what's going on? Who are down there? Like, oh, <laughs> That's so, what they need yeah. for. And then it's raining, so it's not, it's kind of hard to hear you guys. I'm just poking holes in mason jars and making medium. Stuff I've been putting off doing for like two weeks. I'm learning how to sketch. Sketch? Yeah, onto the little canvases. What? 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 But they're fun. Yeah, they are. But they, they have a thing for cameras, meaning they want to be on it all the time. Now, I would prefer to paint too, but the way I want to paint, I can't do it without making my own stuff. So, minor problem. I think that's amazing. Or crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. I'm gonna pull something. Yeah. Oh, it's setting. I wish it was so far on this side. I uh, went to Lowe's. I guess this morning pick up pipe fittings, hose uh, barb adapters and all this other stuff. I'm putting holes in mason jars and putting the adapters in it. And then I'm going to take this, the tubing, and I'm going to attach it to that and I'm going to spin them upside down and I'm just going to draw with paint because I'm crazy. Mining your own clay. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yes, we are. Now, I was fussing that I didn't know how to 
put the I needed some lines to work with in order to paint on my little canvases. Mm -hmm. So he went out and bought me lead and a holder that Aww. is heavy and silver and it's it's just really wonderful. But learning how to use it is not so easy. <laughs> One of them, Abigail, though. That's the first that? one. I did finish the first one. Oh, okay. What that? I didn't know you guys are not supposed to be out here. You know that. Why? Because I'm heating stuff that's not good for you to go inside this. Why? Why? Sorry, guys. I don't want to under undermine your correcting them, but it's funny. I have headphones in, so I can't hear you guys, thankfully. Okay. <laughs> but you want a kid too? I have three. You want to come borrow one? I got grandkids I can send over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, golly. I can get one of the big jars. We'll be right back. No. I don't know. Prep work? That's just deciding, right? Then you go throw everything on the kitchen table and start pushing brushes around in the in the acrylic. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> oh god. I'm afraid to work in oil. I really am. Yeah. The mess I make in acrylic, I can't even imagine what it would look what this place would look like if I started using oil. You want to see my studio? I'll turn the camera around. <laughs> Uh, okay, here. Hold on a second. Let me pull the camera off. I'll show you the work table right now. And this isn't even where I paint. This is just part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm in the floor. And I like the photos of your hands when you're done for the day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this one? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, me either. I I have overalls and I sort of I try to contain the paint in the overalls, but it doesn't work at all. Clothing without paint, well, only because acrylic um, washes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I oh. stick with acrylic. <laughs> at, at least they know what you do when you go to church. Yes. Uh huh. That'll actually work. Yay! Sometimes ideas actually work. Now this is cool. <laughs> but I missed when you were painting the other day. Oh, yeah. I was just, I'm still trying to get the settings right. Because I do record them, don't look all that great. So, you know, it, it, it's all a learning process all over. Exactly. Okay. Do you know how afraid I am of oil? <laughs> Actually, I've started to make my own encaustics. I just kind of got sidetracked with another project. So I have a drawer full of blocks and a whole lot of demar. But Can you hear me? Yes. Yay! Yay! 
what I've been doing is I've been doing pastel. I've been taking my old pastel drawings and putting uh, spraying them real heavy with a fixative, mm -hmm. and then applying the fine pumice gel. If you know what that is, it's a it's a uh, it, you know that pastel paper that you buy. It's like ten bucks. It has a real heavy tooth to it. Yeah, and the gel isn't it like gritty? Yeah, it's very gritty. So what I've been doing is I've been um, if if I'm if I like the drawing or the pastel drawing, then I put the fine pumice gel on there, and then I coat it with uh, beeswax. I have a heat gun and I coat the entire thing with beeswax. And then I go over the top of the beeswax with oil paint because oil is compatible with beeswax. It, it sticks, it binds to it. Okay. Yep. So now you have a mixed media pastel, and once you put the wax on it, it becomes an encaustic painting, and then you put the paint, up and it gives a very three-dimensional look to it. I've had some really unique um, outcomes of that. Cool. You can do that with watercolor also, but you don't have to put the fixative on watercolor. Hmm. It just gave me some ideas for how to do things in acrylics, too. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I've been taking all the old drawings that I, I used to run a figure drawing class in uh, Virginia Beach for like three years, and I have a ton of old gesture drawings and stuff. So what I did is I just take those out and I just kind of rework all those into encaustics. Oh, cool. What are you making your own paint? This right now, no, this is a paint. This is one of the mediums I paint with. Um, it thickens up the oil paint or thins it out either or, so that I can throw it because I'm crazy and throw oil paint. Or okay. done though. I didn't say anything. Ah, okay. So you're making your own oil paint? No, I'm making my own medium to mix with oil paint. Okay, okay, I get it. So. And it, uh, mix it with oil paint and you can do all kinds of stuff. And it's not like, you, know, you can mix liquid in or... Um, Sand oil? Sand oil is another one. Kind of like that, only it keeps the uh, paint from collapsing on it because it dries. So you get some body to it. Have you ever read a book by uh, James Elkinson called What Is Paint? No. Might be What Paint Is. No. It's uh, about the, the alchemy of paint back in the old olden days about what they learned, how they couldn't write anything down because you couldn't learn anything written down because they didn't have, like, do this for 30 minutes because there was no clocks. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't say heat this up to 360 degrees because there was no temperature measuring device back then. Right. It's very unique how they had to do it. You had to actually just work in the studio and learn uh, what works and what didn't work. And it was passed down from from just your knowledge from 
from apprentice on down to the next apprentice. Really cool. Very interesting book. It's I never I've never read a book that was not about the technical aspect of painting. It was more like the alchemy of painting. The chemistry of it? Yeah, well, not even the chemistry, because these people didn't know anything about chemistry. They knew about alchemy. Right. <laughs> they would take um, frog poop and make green stuff. And <laughs> they would paint with anything and everything. That is cool. Very cool. Since I like to experiment, I, I really enjoyed that book. Seems like you like to experiment also. I thought you might like it also. Yeah, I'll have to look up that one. See if I can find it. I can send you the uh, ISBN number. No, I can probably Google it. I mean, because I'll lose this chat unless you want to like tag me on Google Plus. Painting is very cool. I love that painting too, Rembrandt. Yeah. Yes, Rembrandt. Yeah. Yeah. So, 1659 South of It's one of my favorites. Good Lord. Talk about the noise, guys. What state do you live in? Florida. Florida, okay. What about you? It's raining, so <laughs> Arkansas. Gotcha. How long have you been there? I just moved back here because my parents have some health issues. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in Virginia Beach before here, so I moved back about two years ago. Good to be home, or did you miss where you were? I miss the artistic stimulation of being with other artists in Virginia Beach. And I'm out here in the boonies. I mean, I have a nice big studio, but it has a trade-off. Yeah. Financial gain here is much, I mean, much cheaper to live here than there. So it has a lot of trade-off. I'd really uh, rather be here. Would you? Yeah. Gotcha. Fair enough. Now, do you do most of uh, your like your sales and whatnot online, or do you work with local galleries? I work with two galleries, well, three galleries, and one in Virginia Beach, so and two in Hot Springs here, and then I sell most of my stuff online. Very cool. Yeah. I was actually really surprised. I sold my horse painting in Hot Springs for uh, fifteen hundred. About a month ago, I was really happy about that. Congratulations! Thank you. Ah, to the sale. It's a nice sale for me. Yeah. Just happened to, that I sold another painting like two days before then of uh, just somebody off of eBay. That was nice. It's about a five hundred dollar painting. Wow. So it was a really nice, it was a nice month for me. <laughs> I keep meaning to look at eBay, and every time I look at it, I'm going, ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, they're going to get to the point real soon where they're going to start putting, making people pay taxes and all that stuff. I mean, you already have to pay taxes if you sell something in the state that you live in. Well, mm -hmm. Florida's different because the tourists pay most of the taxes there, so... Maybe that's different for you, but for me, I, most of my sales are online, and I don't have to worry about taxes unless yeah. unless someone buys from me online that lives in Arkansas. But well, that's the way the law is. But now yeah. they're trying to figure out how to get into eBay and kind of get your hand their hand in your pocket. I mean, I'm already paying federal taxes, so yeah. Yeah. What can you do? And eBay is time consuming. Is it? It can be. If I had up to like 800 thing items for sale, pieces of art, 
at one time, and um, I've gotten it down now to like 130, so it's wow. not, not as bad now. I can't imagine. I'm lucky to have three or four pieces available at any given time. Not because they actually sell, but they just take forever to dry. Well, I was making more money buying other people, dead artists' work, and then reselling it on eBay. Mm -hmm. so I just have a, a select few artists that I collect, and I just sort of target those artists. And every time I see something, I'll buy it for on a lower auction over here, and turn it right around and put it on eBay for a much higher. So I could buy something for $25 at an auction that's loose, unframed, and get it, receive it, put it in a put a fifty dollar painting on it, a uh, frame on it, and sell it for three hundred bucks. Wow. Try to just go with it like that. So I'm blessed I have artistic talent and I have a business sense. Which most there artists you know. which most artists do not have that. i so I've been yeah. told. It's difficult. It's good to see you again, Patsy. I'll see you for the rest of your day. I'm going to have to out here, too. Cook some dinner. Eat the midgets. Hopefully they're not setting the house on fire. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, how old are you kids? They are 9, 8, and 6. Oh, you got three. Wow. Okay. Yes, I do. Wow. <laughs> and they're little. Yeah, my nephew is, uh, well, my niece had a child, so he would be my maybe great, great nephew. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyway, he's like two, and uh, he's a handful. Yeah, that's a fun age. Yeah, not good for coming to visit Uncle Don at the studio. Yeah, not really. Yeah. Like, especially when he brings me a razor blade. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. So, That's no good. I, so I told my mom and dad, I said, you know, I don't mind keeping him, but it, you know, I can only keep him at night because during the day he wanders down into the studio, and if, if your studio is like my studio, it's an industrial area. It's not, not there's no toys there. No. There's sharp objects and tools and saws and more power tools. And, yeah, no. Yeah. Lives plugged in, staple gun. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah. It's not like I can just take ten minutes and take care of everything, and everything will be okay, and he can come over. I mean, I gotta have a, at least a day. To get it all. Yeah. He's ever going to come out, or he can't get in there. Exactly. It's only so much space, and all things have their places, and you can't just. Oh, it's raining too much in the left side. Sorry. He doesn't want the left side. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to head out, so they do actually set something on fire. Okay. Have fun. So, it, it was good talking to you, and I'll see you around again. Okay. Bye. Later. I'll keep up, Mike.